Back in 2014, Lionsgate announced that they would be working on a reboot to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. We were promised the Power Rangers that we all know and love, but for a modern audience. Hype was pretty real. Interest in the franchise really picked back up over the coming years, but after the release of the movie and a shockingly poor take at the box office, it all went away very, very quickly. Power Rangers 2017 seemed to come and go overnight. The critics didn't love it, fans didn't really like it, and the studio weren't happy enough with its earnings to produce the highly teased sequel. But is the movie really that bad? No, I don't think it is. And in today's video, I will be telling you why. Let's get into it. Very quickly before we move into this explanation, I want to let you guys know something awesome. Over the last few weeks, we have teamed up with a couple of our friends to help them with a brand new channel. We have lent a hand with the writing and presenting side of things for the channel, and so far, two or three videos in, it's been an absolute blast. The channel is all about the sport of pro wrestling, specifically the Attitude Era. It's a fun channel and there are some super talented people working on it behind the scenes, and we are super excited to be involved. You guys are officially the first people to hear about this channel, so if you're into your pro wrestling, or even if you used to be into it, you should definitely check it out and be one of the first subscribers to the channel. It's called Attitude Wrestling. I will leave a link in the description down below. Thanks guys. So again, let's go back to 2014. Producers were promising that the film would be completely playful, really fun and funny, but feel grounded at the same time. And if I'm honest, I think that's where the problems began. Power Rangers is not in any way supposed to be grounded in reality. It's a story about a bunch of teenagers that receive superpowers to fight alien monsters. You don't really need to try and ground that in reality. You need to just let it be what it is. But that's what they went for and in terms of what they set out to do, they achieved it. Let me explain. As a moody PG-13 film, Power Rangers does not resemble the TV show in any way, like at all. But its premise does. Five teenagers from Angel Grove transform into superheroes and save the world from Rita Repulsa. But let's remember, in the TV show, Zordon summons five overbearing teenagers with attitude. But what he gets is five next-to-perfect teenage role models. There are episodes where the rangers volunteer to clean up parks and Big Brother programs, things like that. They even teach martial arts to kids. They very rarely put a foot wrong. That doesn't really deliver on the premise of five teenagers with attitude. The film, however, does just that. It picks five screw-ups. Misfits. Jason Lee Scott is a disgraced football player. Trini is, I guess you could say, in the closet and struggling with it. Kimberly betrays a friend for the sake of gossip. Zack is clearly a bit of a recluse, an outsider, and Billy is autistic. These are the teenagers with attitude that we were promised, each of them dealing with their own battles, giving us a reason to have teenage drama and give them character, rather than just giving them powers and having them fight monsters. Another huge difference between this film and the show is the fact that none of them are friends to begin with. And in my opinion, this is where the strength lies in this version. They are a group of misfits that come together through circumstance, and the whole movie is a story about them finding strength through each other, something that any kind of team needs to do. Whether it be a sports team or a superhero team, you need to trust and be able to rely on each other, and that is the heart of this story, the building of that relationship. And by the end of the movie, a lot has changed. I mean, they are still in detention, but now they have each other, and they all have a purpose. Overall, I think this is a good story, and they tell it very, very well. It's just... Well, it's just not a good Power Rangers story. At least not Power Rangers as we know it. And there is the problem with rebooting a franchise. Audiences always expect a bigger and better version of what they had before, but that is very rarely the case. This, just like many other Hollywood adaptions and remakes, is a different take on a cheesy, camp kids TV show from the 90s. I personally don't think it's possible, or at least it's unbelievably difficult, to make a perfect movie that absolutely nails everything that the younger audience members are looking for, while also satisfying the older, nostalgic generation that somehow want the Power Rangers they are familiar with, while also having it be gritty or mature. You can't have it always. Power Rangers 2017 tried its hardest to do all those things. It tried to appeal to kids, it tried to ground itself in reality and feel more gritty to please the adults. 
it tried to hit the nostalgia by bringing in bits of the original score during key scenes. The problem with that is, by trying to please everyone, you're of course always going to somehow upset everyone. And that is, in my opinion, why this movie failed. Which is a shame, because again, it was a different and interesting take that told a strong story. It just wasn't what people necessarily wanted. I'm not going to touch too much on details such as costume design and things like that, but if you want my honest opinion, I love the designs for Rita, Zordon and Alpha, and the Zords were pretty cool too. But man, I hated the Ranger costumes. I have seen so many better fan-made versions. Just check out TakuJ on Instagram for examples of how they could have done it, and it will make you realise how badly the costume design team on this project really failed. But that shouldn't make or break the success of a film, which is why I didn't want to touch too much on those details in this video. I'm curious, what did you guys think of this movie? We don't talk about it too much on this channel, and I very rarely see people talking about it online or commenting anything about it anymore. So today, five years on from its release, I want to find out what you guys actually think of it. Did you enjoy it upon its release? Do you enjoy it now? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd also love to know what you would like to see done differently in the upcoming Hasbro reboot headed by Jonathan Entwistle. Will they learn from this version's hits and misses? I certainly hope so. That's it from me today my friends, don't forget to check out Attitude Wrestling, you can see more of me and my buddies talking about wrestling, which is so much fun. Thank you all so much for watching today, I hope you have a great day, may the power protect you, and I will see you next time on The Sixth Ranger.